just finished my fifth ketamine experience and it was not a good not a good one not a fun one not pleasant it was a uh, by all means a bad trip is what most people would term it as and it, and it was because like it wasn't I mean it wasn't a pleasant experience um, I'm not exactly like stoked to even sit here and talk about this any more than I already have but I do feel like this is um, potentially beneficial for people out there so um, I'll keep doing these like I said I would but essentially, uh, with Lyme disease, I've felt just utter hopelessness with my life and uh, being so sick and um, getting to the point where my mental health is so bad. Um, and all of these things aren't just happening because it's like I'm chronically ill and I'm, I'm feeling sorry for myself and I'm sad about it. And while those things m may be true, it's also happening because I'm... I've been on six different antibiotics that are wreaking havoc on my body and having very costly effects um, and the Lyme disease itself and other um, tick-borne illnesses that I have like uh, Bartonella, Babesia, uh, all, all that stuff um, can have a huge negative impact on mental health um, and cause a lot of mental health illness. So I feel like I don't have the reservoir to pull from to have something tangible to hold on to or or grab a hold of um and just kind of feel like there's there's nothing there and i you know you just when you feel like that you're just kind of like what what do i do like because there's there's really just like no will to live or to do anything um and i also think uh part of uh you know, my whole life experience getting to this point, like I've been able to just grind through hard times and, you know, manifest and create a life for myself that was non-existent. Um, and it's not to say that I, I can't manifest things anymore, um, but there's no, there's just like nothing to like grasp during this time when when I'm just so manically depressed and, uh, you know, my body's just taking a toll from this illness and the treatment from it. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot like chemo where you're just putting your body through a lot to eradicate itself um, and of, of the things in the body that you shouldn't be there. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, uh, not a pleasant experience. So the last experience was a tremendous experience. And then this one, I did the same playlist, went into it, but started tripping and I just couldn't grasp onto anything. And I just, I felt the complete and utter helplessness of in every corner dimension of what that word means. And it was very scary, it was very unpleasant, and it was very uncomfortable. And it was just not a good time. And uh, um, luckily the doctor helping me was, was great to talk to and Kelly came in and helped me as well. Um, but yeah, I recognized I recognized afterwards that although I had been feeling completely helpless and maybe it appeared it to you guys as well, I don't think that I actually fully felt it to the degree that I actually was feeling it, which is why that happened. Um, because when you, when you go do mushrooms, it's, um, you know, you have all these things hiding behind doors in your body and it's going to open up whichever door is the strongest of whatever that may be. So, you know, that could be like a very fun and, and, um, exciting thing, or it could be a very sad thing, or it could be a very devastating thing, or it could be a very happy and motivating thing. Um, it just, that's, that's, that's how it works. And, uh, 
honestly, that was my my takeaway from it was um, that I just I, I think it's it's normal and also with like I said my personality and how I've gone through life and became successful with all of these things and it's just how I've gotten through life but um, that's not really it's not really a tool at my disposal right now um, but other than that it's when you feel utterly helpless in every sense of the word, there's literally nothing. I mean, there's, there's literally nothing like you cease to exist. And in that moment during the trip, when I was experiencing that, it was the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced. I mean, it was, it was death essentially, um, in the most unpleasant way possible. Um, and I think it's natural to resist a feeling like that. So, um, but, you know, yeah, so I think that, you know, that was potentially good to realize and I did realize, you know, and I do realize that and I do realize that um, that kind of, even though, you know, when you do feel like that, you feel like there's nothing and there's, and it's death, it's like, okay, but that doesn't necessarily mean that for my situation. It was just, that was just how I felt because I was feeling what it feels like to be completely helpless. Um, and so that feeling, you know, it may portray what I'm going through, but it doesn't dictate um, reality as a whole. Um, even though it feels like it, 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 you know, I do recognize that it, it was a feeling and that it's, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm navigating around these things and figuring these things out, but, um, yeah, even though this was a quote unquote bad trip, I don't, um, you know, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep plugging away and keep figuring out, you know, what I need to do to, to beat this thing and to, uh, be healthy and, and keep fighting. So, <clears throat> yeah, gonna, <laughs> yeah, just sharing the reality of this guys. Um, anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for um, subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for being with me through this journey, this crazy thing we call life. Um, thank you. So much love to you guys and I'll see you on the next video.